well, since then brought up that you become the CEO of Wasabi Wallet or ZK Snacks. This current stream is the first time you are actually appearing as the CEO of ZK Snacks. So how does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite excited about it, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I love Wasabi as a software project, I always have. Uh, and it's it's mission and vision behind it. Uh, and I've been a user of the client for a long time. And based on that, I'm an enthusiast contributor to the project. Uh, and now being on the user side of the back end, uh, I, I guess I can lift that ethos and, and double down on it. And I will try to give good feedback to the software project uh, in terms of uh, back end functionality. And yeah, we'll, we'll hope that CK Snacks uh, as a company, will continue to not just provide incredibly valuable services to its users, uh, and but also to uh, continue its, well, I guess, philanthropic uh, contributions to the free and open source software space. Uh, I think we're already doing some quite amazing work there, but uh, we can do much more. Uh, so I'm hoping that ZK Snacks will be yeah, more more involved in in other software projects uh, and, and that. Uh, Wasabi will continues to be resilient and, and feature rich and uh, just working well. Um, but to a large extent, you know, it's it's business as usual. I loved the project before. I love it as much or more now. Uh, and I'll just try my best to build something that's useful. Uh, and I think we have one of the best teams to make that happen, even though it's a incredibly ambitious and difficult problem to tackle. Uh, so I'm definitely not too confident, <laughs> but I'm, I'm hopeful and optimistic. Can you maybe give an account of yourself? Who are you? How did you get to study? Where were you before? And, and what did you hear? So a bit of a history lesson, please. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm mainly, I would say, an entrepreneur and economist uh, by trade before Bitcoin. Uh, it was always important for me to earn, a mo earn money, first and foremost, right? Uh, but then coincidentally, you realize that, oh, that means you got to be useful for other people. Uh, and that was always something that I found quite enjoyable. I then discovered economics as, well, the, the science to um, become a better problem solver, an entrepreneur. Uh, and thereafter, first trying out the Keynesian mainstream nonsense. I thankfully discovered the Austrian School of Economics, uh, and uh, that helped me a lot with understanding the, the role and the tasks of, of entrepreneurs and the importance of money. And so then after studying this, I learned about the problems that the fiat money has and uh, was eager to find a solution to it. And that led me to Bitcoin ultimately uh, as a money that is defined, verified and, and enforced by the merchants that use the money system. And that's such a genius idea that solves so many problems. Uh, and it, the software is so elegantly designed uh, that it's caught my attention quite quick. And the fall down the Bitcoin rabbit hole was, was steep <laughs> and, and, and harsh, um, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, and then Wasabi Wallet, uh, I discovered back when it was Hidden Wallet, I believe end of 2017, uh, based on Nopara being part of the Block Digest, a phenomenal podcast. Uh, there he was talking about the development process, and I thought to try it out. Uh, yeah, I loved the, loved the idea. Uh, so stuck around and figured out that it's pretty bad, <laughs> uh, despite how cool it is. Um, and there were like a thousand and one things to, to improve that were so obvious. Uh, so I stuck around, had conversations with the other contributors, and I did some educational videos of how to use it, uh, eventually answered a bunch of questions from other users, then got lazy doing that. Uh, so I wrote the documentation that I don't have to repeat myself that much. <laughs> uh, and a bunch of others helped out with making that happen. Yeah, then got more into, let's say, the technical side, you know, reviewing a lot of the pull requests, testing the software, giving the feedback, um, what's broken, what could be better. Uh, and then as well, the, the research side, you know, really thinking deep about the architecture and, and the design of the software, about the different tricks that can be used to make it more private, efficient, uh, useful. Yeah, I guess all of that let, let me here to this point now. 
um, where I'm kind of just planning to continue doing what I do uh, and double down on this more open source ethos of scratchy own edge. You know, we're building software tools that anyone else can use. When we make it better, it's better for everyone else. That's such a massive improvement in all resource allocation and, and, and wealth that we're creating here. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in it for the mission and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. All right. Thank you.